Hey YouTube, today we're going to show you how we built an insert for our door. This will act as a replacement for the screen until we replace the entire setup. So Ty measured the height and width of the space we're hoping to fill in our doorway. And then he cut these pieces of cedar decking to fit. So you'll require two lengths, two widths, and then four pieces for angle brackets that will be cut on each end at a 45 degree angle. And of course a drill, a drill bit, and some screws. You'll also need some kind of fabric to work as your cover on your frame. I'll talk about this a little further on in the video. So here, Ty has lined up the pieces and he is pre-drilling the holes before he adds the screws. This will prevent your wood from splitting as you add the screw. Or so he tells me. So the rest of this feels pretty self-explanatory to me. Basically, you're going to line up your pieces, drill your holes, screw the pieces together, and you're done. That being said, I'm sure if I was doing this myself, I would run into more problems. But it's a lot easier to sit here and do the narration. Also, make sure to check out our website in the comments section down below for further instructions. Here you'll see time measuring. We're trying to figure out where to put the cross brace so that our rectangle stays square and doesn't skew. And of course, after a few slivers, we decided that a quick sand wouldn't hurt. Next up is where we add the fabric. Originally I had considered using an old lace tablecloth, but we live in the land of mammoth mosquitoes. So we use this sheer fabric instead with an embroidered leaf on it. It matches our decor nicely and will provide extra protection from the bugs. And of course you could just use a piece of screen, but I wanted to add a touch of creativity to our space and I didn't want it to look like we were just trying to make do with a screen because we didn't want to buy a door. It kind of depends whatever vibe you're going for. So here we're tucking the corners and using the staple gun to hold the fabric in place. We didn't want to cut the fabric because it took away from a look of bug on the inside. So we didn't want to cut the fabric because we didn't want to take away from its integrity and strength. And once you slice sheer fabric, it does fray quite a bit. But this worked out nicely. Lots of tucks, lots of staples. And there you have it. We finished this bad boy off with two handles screwed to the finished side for easy setup. Wow, that was great. And then Ty cut a piece of wood to wedge behind the door here to keep the new screen firmly in place. And voila, no more bugs. If you decide to give this project a go, whether as a door or maybe for your window, please tag us on Instagram. We'd love to see what you've been up to. Feel free to leave any questions in the comment section below and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.